Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That So Poe, and today I'm starting another reading vlog, this time focusing on National Poetry Month. So April is National Poetry Month in the US, and I thought this would be a great reason to pick up some poetry collections that I have been meaning to read for such a long time. So I've got three poetry collections that I'm gonna go ahead and try to read. The first is Citizen by Claudia Rankin. I think that I've heard about this from multiple people, but I'm pretty sure I remember Jen at Remembered Reads talking about this. It sounds like it's going to be talking about a lot of just issues of being black in the US um, and maybe some angry poetry, which I always love in terms of social commentary poetry. It also looks like there are some pictures and images that are inside of this poetry collection, so I'm really looking forward to that. The second is Junk by Tommy Pico, and I heard about this first from Priscilla at Bookie Charm a couple of years ago. Tommy Pico, I believe, is queer indigenous Latinx author and it just sounds like it's going to be a really cool poetry collection about stuff and about identity. And then the third is All the Names Given by Raymond and Trobus and this is a collection that I heard about from Olivia Savannah at Olivia's Catastrophe and Raymond and Trobus is a Jamaican British deaf poet and so it sounds like there's going to be a lot in here as well about those experiences that identity. So I'm really looking forward to all three of these poetry collections. I love poetry that talks about identity and social issues and I think they're all going to do that. So I hope that these will be wonderful and throughout the vlog I'll just check in with you as I read some poems, maybe share some favorites with you, and also just share some life clips. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So I read about 30% of all three poetry collections now and I wanted to check in with you and tell you how it's going and what I'm thinking of the poetry collections so far and it is going really really well. I am very much enjoying all three of these. So for All the Names Given by Raymond and Trobus, this collection is really about identity. So it's about Entrobus sort of examining, especially in this first part, his connection to his family, to his heritage, um, to his British mother and his um, Caribbean father, to his grandparents, to his heritage in terms of ancestors, and to what that means in terms of his modern day identity and what it means to be, you know, both British and 
Caribbean, what it means to be white and black. Um, and so I, I'm really, really liking that exploration of family and identity in it. And the, the poems themselves, I just like the rhythm. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, and then for Citizen by Claudia Rankin, this is super good. I'm very, very much enjoying this so far. It is somewhere between prose and verse. Um, it's a bunch of small paragraphs, um, sometimes connected with other paragraphs, sometimes totally separate, that are reflections on race in the U.S. Um, this was written, I think, in 2014, and it's really talking a lot about the issues of Black Lives Matter, about all sorts of aggressions um, by the kind of system, by the white majority towards black people, everything from the micro to the macro. And it's just got these really powerful uh, recountings of interactions. So many interactions of her just dealing with people in her life being racist, whether intentionally or not. And also lots of commentary on society in general and the expectations. And they're just very powerful, I feel, and I, I'm really getting a lot out of them. So I wanted to read you two of them uh, that are pretty short. So the first one is talking about Serena Williams. She has quite a bit on Serena Williams in here, and I liked this paragraph. Again, Serena's frustrations, her disappointments, exist within a system. You understand not to try to understand in any fair-minded way, because to do so is to understand the erasure of the self as systemic, as ordinary. For Serena, the daily diminishment is a low flame, a constant drip. Every look, every comment, every bad call blossoms out of history through her onto you. To understand is to see Serena as hemmed in as any other black body thrown against our American background. And then there's another poem in here that talks about just how to deal with those constant aggressions and how to keep living your life even while feeling them. You take in things you don't want all the time. The second you hear or see some ordinary moment, all its intended targets, all the meanings behind the retreating seconds, as far as you are able to see, come into focus. Hold up. Did you just hear? Did you just say? Did you just see? Did you just do that? Then the voice in your head silently tells you to take your foot off your throat because just getting along shouldn't be an ambition. And I think that these are just really powerful poems and powerful statements. And what's very interesting is that last section that I just read, I saw something very, very similar in the other poetry collection that I'm reading, uh, Junk by Tommy Pico, which makes a ton of sense because I think that Tommy Pico is also experiencing a lot of these things as somebody who is indigenous and Latinx in the US and gay. So just lots of uh, aggressions as well. So I wanna read just a section of one of his poems really quick. So he says, I'm an expert at piecing out. We all have our survival strategies growing up on the res, America's first POW camps. In a way, I'm indebted to disassociation, shouting, get so small, it's almost quaint. I fold it into my pocket. Even now, it's hard for me to come back to my body. It's here I hold all myself, all my junk. And I think that just the way that they're talking about how do you process all of these aggressions towards you all the time um, really resonates between these two collections, actually all three collections. Um, and Tommy Pico's Junk is also just such a fascinating uh, poetry collection because it's not a collection of poems. I think it's one long poem, but the poem itself is almost like a stream of consciousness, him thinking about different things on the topic of junk and junk being sort of all of that collection of stuff, um, physical things, junk food, uh, genitalia. There's lots of very explicit stuff in this, by the way. Um, uh, and it's just him kind of pondering this idea of junk throughout the whole the whole book. And it's really, really fascinating. It's very stream of consciousness and I'm liking it quite a lot. I'm liking the way that he's taking the metaphor of junk and extending it and the little pieces of his life and his feelings and his frustrations that he's bringing in. So I'm really enjoying this one too. So this is a very good start and I'm looking forward to continuing with these and doing what I can to understand what the poems are saying. So I will check in with you guys later as I have read more.
So I'm about two thirds of the way through all of the poetry collections now, and I wanted to check in with you about them. I am really, really loving all of them. They're all such good collections. Uh, Junk by Tommy Pico is, I think, the shortest of the collections, but it's definitely taking me the longest to read because it is really dense with imagery and with wordplay. There's so much humor in the collection as well. I'm really, really enjoying reading it and sitting down and trying to parse each line. Um, and just the way that he does so many interesting things with language in this, I I'm really, really enjoying it. And just the, the commentary as well is excellent. Um, in All the Names Given, I think that this is just such a great exploration of identity. And I wanted to read you a part of a poem where he talks about that kind of reconciliation of his white and black ancestry. And so I'm going to read you part of a poem where he's talking about a painting that one of his white British ancestors made um, depicting plantation life and him trying to kind of grapple with the colors used in the painting and how that relates to himself. I worry, what kind of black would mark me? I'm not the paint made from vine twigs or burnt shells. I'm not the lamp full of oil. Tabitha, tell me how you'd paint me. Tell me if I'm closer to the white painter with my name than I am to the black preacher, his hands wide to the sky, the mahogany rat of heaven. Sorry, but you know by now that I can't mention trees without every shade of my family appearing and disappearing. And so I just, I'm really enjoying the way that these poems seem to be a form of, of him working through his own questions and his own issues regarding his identity. I think that's wonderful. And then in Citizen by Claudia Rankin, I am loving these poems. They are so political. Um, I'm in a section right now where a lot of the poems are talking about events, um, things like white mob violence against uh, black people, things like Hurricane Katrina. There is a really great poem in here talking about kind of the way that Hurricane Katrina was discussed in the news. And I wanted to read a section of that too, because I just think it's it's so strong the way that she's doing all of this political commentary through poetry. So this is like, I think excerpts maybe even from the news that she took. Have you seen their faces? Then this aestheticized distancing from, oh my God, 
from unbelievable, from dehydration, from overheating, from no electricity, no power, no way to communicate. We are drowning here still in the difficulty as if the faces in the images hold all the consequences and the fiction of the facts assumes randomness and indeterminacy. He said, I don't know what the water wanted. It wanted to show you no one would come. And I just think these, these poems are, are really powerful, really making a statement about the state of racism in the US and I'm getting a ton out of them. So yeah, I'm loving all of these collections and I'm gonna go ahead and continue reading them and I will check in with you when I have finished them. Okay, so I have now finished all three poetry collections and they were all wonderful. I really enjoyed this reading project. Um, I just liked these poetry collections, especially how they talked about so much related to identity, related to kind of political issues, social issues. Um, I especially loved how Citizen by Claudia Rankin just really made poetry of all of these social uh, events and and really very difficult things to process in terms of police brutality and and the way that so many black people and black communities are constantly abused in the US and I just I just loved the fact that that was turned into poetry and especially also in Junk by Tommy Pico he talks quite a lot about being indigenous and about kind of grappling with what that means to be part of a group of people who have survived genocide um and he kind of wove that all in with this metaphor of junk and what you keep and what it means and it just was lovely so I really thoroughly enjoyed all three of these collections. I definitely recommend them all. And yeah, I hope that you guys had a fun time in this reading vlog with me. And thanks for being patient as I read you out some of my favorite parts of these poems. If you guys have read poetry by any of these authors, or if you have other poetry collections that you love, that you'd like to recommend, anything at all, go ahead and leave me a comment down below.